two phones, but Samsung Secure Folder has the ability to achieve this only in this phone. In this video, we'll talk about Samsung Secure Folder. So let's get started. If you have never activated Secure Folder, it stays in the top notification panel. Open the panel and see if it's there. If not, click the pencil icon and then this edit button. You'll find it in the bottom panel. Drag it and drop it to the top. Tap done. You'll find it in the panel now. Tap on it to activate it. Hit continue and then continue. Give it a few seconds. We must create a password for it. I'll choose pin and create one. All done. This is our secure folder. You'll find it in the app drawer. You can also hide it temporarily by deactivating it from the notification panel. Secure folder has a few apps installed. We can add more by tapping here. These are all the installed apps on our device. Select them and add them. We can also install apps from stores, but you must sign in to do that. Secure folder is a separate space, so you can install apps and use them without affecting your personal space. We can have separate Gmail, Facebook, WhatsApp and any other app that can be installed. To lock this folder, go to the menu and click lock and exit. You'll need to insert your pin now to unlock it. However, the best part of locking it is the auto lock. You can choose when the folder will lock automatically from here. Now we will see how to add files. Samsung apps such as Gallery and Files offer the ability to send files to secure folder. Those files are hidden away from your personal space. To send a photo or video, click Move to Secure Folder. Now you'll find this photo in the Gallery app inside the Secure Folder. You can move it back by tapping this button. This way we can send files and app installs as well. The Secure Folder notification content is always hidden. Even when the secure folder is unlocked, the notifications are secure. We must tap on one to open it. Those notifications have a tiny secure folder icon to separate them from the normal ones. Also, the open apps have a tiny icon in the bottom right corner. The same icon is visible in the recent apps panel. You can also customize secure folder. Changing the name to something else and adjusting the background color and the icon is possible. For example, I can change it to business space because I use it for my work. Alright, before we go, here are a few things you should know about Secure Folder. You can encrypt the app to protect it from any attacks. While it's encrypted, you won't get any app notifications. Also, we can screen record Secure Folder and the installed apps. The video is saved in the Secure Folder gallery and while recording, if you leave Secure Folder, the recording will stop. So this was using secure folder. If you like this video, please check out my other related videos. Catch you next time. Take care.